those numbers were long. We took something in the neighborhood of 80 odd takes, but I don't remember the exact number. If you know, we started from the bottom of the stairs and danced up. But it was either the sun ox went out, or, or the camera didn't work, or there was sound in the camera, one thing or another, or we missed something. And, and then we got to the top of the stairs, we cut, and then we had to move the camera upstairs. It went on and on and on. They were getting very, very tired. Finally, we got one. Made exit right in front of the camera for a change. And as they did, Freddie's hairpiece flew up and he looked like a rather surprised Indian. So we had to do it again. And it was then that I noticed Ginger changing shoes. Uh, and she, I, I thought they were pink slippers, but they were slippers filled with blood. She could hardly really walk. It was, uh, Fred was dripping. He would change his shirt five or six times. And we, every time we would get almost to the finish, something would happen. And it, it got to be a, like a, a block. And uh, uh, you, you know, sometimes you say, well, what's going to happen now? And it would. And we were just at our wit's end. And finally, with the director, George Stevens, said, let's quit for the night, said it's late, everybody's tired. And Fred Ginger said, no, let's do it while we are hot. And, and said, we'll do it if we have to <laughs> kill ourselves. <clears throat> and uh, so they, we said, all right, one more time. So they got up the top of the stairs. Everybody was holding their breath, you know. And he caught her the first time, then the spins. He caught her the second time. I think it's about four times. The last time he caught her, she whirled off down the steps, and it was perfect. And uh, everybody shouted. The crew said, "Hooray!" <laughs> and they, but and it, you look at it today and said, "Oh, isn't that pretty?" You know. They're just uh, having so much fun. I went through a lot of hell getting them to make picture after picture for various reasons. Fred did not want to work with Ginger in her first picture because she wasn't an English girl in gay divorce. I persuaded him that the American audience didn't give a damn. They liked her. He didn't want to work with her in his second picture because he certainly didn't want to carry the team too another one and that thing just went on and on and on i don't think anybody wants to get teamed up you know i was teamed up with my sister for years i always used to say what am i going to do when she decides not to and she decided not to so i went off alone and what i am i get teamed up with ginger rogers and i solved it really by getting the company to give him a new contract which gave him 10 percent of the profits and after he got that first few checks from the profits, his reluctance to work with her evaporated. That, that feeling built up into a rumor at one stage that you didn't actually get on with her. Oh, Pan, Pandro uh, Berman will, will say that we fought, but we didn't. He, he, I mean, not, he'll say that we had a quarrel. We, we, we never did, we argued about something which you do with anybody you're working routine dances with or doing anything with anyone. You've got to argue a point out or something. But I never had, we never had any cross arguments tonight. And she, she would say the same thing. It's funny because the studio, I guess, wanting to, uh, to cook up some things about us for the newspapers would cook up these terrible things and we'd read about them and we'd look at them in the paper and say what what was that for what was, who did that and we'd find it was up in the publicity department that had started all of this about our fighting it was terrible we've done nothing but try to live it down ever since <laughs>